If you have been around in the MCC space very often, you have heard this team of Cornelius, Carl Corbis, Crutzy, and Captain Sparkles. A group of friends way back in the days of SMP Live and SMP Earth, and have been collaborating with each other and playing together on streams ever since. The team has played together at MCC four times in the event subspan, and with the upcoming MCC party event, this team is reunited together once more. But after all those years and unfortunate placements, are they still dodgeball the ball? Welcome to the Evolution, and today we'll be taking a look at the very well-known team in Season 1, and see how they would fear now in modern MCCs. This is Crimson Krakens. MCC21 saw more dogs and flowers than ever before. With those flowers, they can heavily influence the decision to vote with 3 votes per flower. In addition to this, the very first remix of Double Trouble is introduced with Battle Box, with 2 control points and Trident PvP. As was that, the first iteration of Mr. Madness is here, albeit it being too open. With that, let's dig deep. The Crimson Krakens. Starting from the beginning, MCC4 saw this team of Carl Corvus, Krinios, and Kretzi, the team that at the time is very skillful, with the captain's competitiveness being an all time high, as well as skills in various players, like Dave Kretzi, for example. This team can also be considered as a redemption team from MCC3 with Kara instead of Jimmy, meaning that this team may have a chance to be in dodgeball again if they make it right of course. So in the event, they did pretty well, like in Dave's favorite game of Sky Buckle where they get second place to more dominations in other games. The three games that they do not do well are well, SG, where the endgame faceoff was utterly chaos. Rocket's belief with the game being not cowards and everybody else cups of tea, and hold the wall with the same story as well. As well as of course purple pandas popping off in the event of course, that doesn't help at all. At the end, after a very tedious game of Paco Warrior, they came third. And and it's the start of the curse, yes, as you have known it already. So here's another chance to redeem themselves. MCC5 with the exact same team, running it back again, this time they actually did well in every single game, barring the first time experience of Sense of Time of course. But nevertheless, they came forth in the event, thanks to well, that SOT game and the coin gaps in Build Mart and Hole in the Wall, cementing Aqua and Yellow as the top two teams. So hey, uh, we should run it back again. In MCC7, as the name that you are now familiar with, with the Crimson Krakens and Captain Sparkles, you're okay. Thank you, Krinios, for that. Now, this team has two major downfalls. Battle Box, with only four wins to their name, and a very familiar approach to the game. And just break it and fill it. I'll heal you guys. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Oh my god. Oh, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> dude, no, no, no. Jesus Christ! Dude, what the hell, dude? Oh, dude? I can't, I can't do it! We can't do it! Dude, how are they? Oh, there's a... oh my god, it's so close. I can't play, place, place, you fool! This is no, there's no way, there's no way, they're gonna win. What? How did they Ow. get? How are they so good at that? What the <laughs> hell is happening? Stupid. And sense of time, with only a vote to their name and them being, well, in a very, very bad placement, I would say, for sense of time. And it doesn't help with the dominating Green Guardians team in the same event in sense of time. Like, it is something else. They unfortunately came third as a result of this, with only around 140 coin gap between them and a spot in Dodge Boat. If any of these games, as well as other games, goes more in their way, then they would have been it. With this team though, 
This also marks the popularity rise of Captain's Curse, in which he would come third in the majority of the events he had been in. Eventually, it is technically broken in MCC 15 with his time in Dustbolt after a very long while, and a win in MCC 22. But before that event, we have the good old Crimson Krakens back again in MCC 21. This time, they are faced with a relatively high competition across the board, like Yellow with Fruit, Cyan with a broken duo of Sapna with CPK, and of course, without a doubt, Blue with Firebop and Powerbolt. If you have any of the duos I mentioned now, the team may automatically be a pass to the final for them. Back to the Crimson Krakens though, with high condition comes very unfortunate times, specifically in three games. Survival games where they got pinched off very early, like, well, MCC4, without the chaos at the end. Sky Battle is also the same story, but in rounds 1 and 3, and Parkour Tag with a lot of losses to their name. One after another. This is an Ouch moment, as this team in that time period and that event is not strong at all, as mentioned in early MCCs. There's no definitive top player to help carry the team in certain scenarios. This team in MCC 21 might only, as some people may say it, a flashback from the past. So, with all that considered, we saw a tremendous growth in every single participant after Crimson Kraken's time. Gretzi, for example, being more heavily PvP focused in games like Sky Battle and Meltdown. Captain Sparkles with more wins to his name after countless events, Kara with her improvements in movement and more, and Quinius in the same field as well. Considering those things together, with the commission in all-time high, they could be in dodgeball together. But it might be a fairly slim chance for them in modern times. If Kretzi can compete against the likes of Purple and Frost of Fire Breath Man, as well as maintaining his skills from the past events that he dominated on, then this team may have a higher chance to win or to be in dodgeball. But until then, who knows? But we don't have to wait longer, as MCC Party is coming at the time of releasing this video. With them being back together again, how would they fare together after all those improvements throughout the year, and with the competition being in their favor this time, will they manage to overcome all those events to finally get a dub for everyone? Even though it is a non-canon of course. We have to wait and see. Next time, we revisit the most fundamental change to Dustball yet and see how it affects the game since. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Evolution. There's a little bit of adjustment when it comes to this series. You know, the good old evil SMP music is now gone. And now it's replaced by, you know, not true. It's just the copyright stuff you know, in the background so that I don't get in trouble again. Anyway though, so everything is, should be back on track now, hopefully, as I have a new schedule, time management sort of deal thing, so expect more videos to come, but you know, in a similar pace as this. So yeah, other than that though, MCC Party is coming up, and yeah, we'll see you in MCC Party or the next episode of Evolution. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.